My name is Marvin Richardson. I'm the Acting Director of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, which means that I lead a group of 5,000 plus men and women across the country who enforce the federal firearms, arson, and explosive laws, and we regulate the firearms and explosives industries. So the best advice, be prepared, right? So in other words, start with first things first, education first, right? So you get that education, maintain your integrity along the way, because a law enforcement officer without integrity is not a law enforcement officer. Make sure that you keep your background clean along the way, because you cannot have a criminal record and be in law enforcement, not in federal law enforcement. So you want to make sure that you do those things along the way that give you the best opportunity to be successful in the law enforcement field. So, my connection to Prairie View comes through two of my best friends who are actually Prairie View residents. When I got a phone call from one of those guys, uh, Judge Dwayne Charleston, uh, he called me and he said, hey Marvin, he said, we really need to do something. There's a great criminal justice program here at Prairie View A&M. He said, and we just need to help open some doors. So, uh, you know what? Uh, we find ourselves in positions along the way in life where we have opportunities to reach back to open doors and provide opportunities uh, where we have been beneficiaries of them. And this was one of those opportunities. So I decided, hey, you know what? For me, this was an easy one. You know, come here, talk to the future of law enforcement, uh, which was sitting here in this room today. 